Hey guys, it's MC Honor III, and today I'm bringing you how to make a pneumatic valve for your air compressed potato cannon. So today we will be needing a blowgun, a three fourths nipple, a sprinkler valve, some JB Weld epoxy, um, two one inch galvanized steel nipples, and a PVC connector, which is two inch on one side and you got your threaded galvanized steel inputs right here. So how we will be building this is first you want to take your sprinkler valve and unscrew it and you want to unscrew it symmetrically. Now if you buy it with a with an electrical input device right here you're gonna to want to take that out. You can do that by unscrewing it. Now the next thing we want to do is take out the spring and make sure you don't harm this little seal right here. It's very delicate. So next thing we want to do is take a three-fourths drill and drill it right into the middle. Now mine has a spring holder and I just drilled right through that. See, it has a spot perfect for that. So, and the next thing is you want to put some Teflon tape on both sides of the galvanite, of, sorry, of the three-fourths nipple Put it into your blowgun and then starts putting, um, well, you want to mix the JB well together. It's one, one, one to one ratio of the epoxy and the hardening. And then you mat, you put it all around the, uh, the, the screws and then you twist it in there and you want to apply a glob around it to make sure it's airtight. Now with this. There's a thing right here, you want to put some JB Weld in that, but make sure it does not interfere with that hole. And also, mine had a bleed valve on it right here, put some on that. And you also are going to want to put some into there. Next thing you do is you let the JB Weld dry for approximately 24 hours. You know, it might not take that long, but you definitely want to wait that long to make sure it's a very, very good seal. Next thing you want to do is you're going to put this back on, screw it in, and the connections I have for it are your galvanized steel. And by the way, this is a one inch sprinkler valve. You cannot buy anything bigger than that at Home Depot or, uh, or Lowe's. So I bought two of these and they screw in right here. I uh, bought two of these. What you can do with this is take your chamber Take your chamber and connect that, you know, have a reducer, connect the reducer to this, have a 4 inch right here, make the 4 inch longer, and then have your cap. And I'm going to be showing you how to make the input cap on my next video, so thanks for watching, um, I'm going to make another video on the cap, and make sure you check out Roddy, R-O-D-D-Y, oh sorry, scratch that. R O D D D Y seven two six. I'll have them in the comment box over here. So, see you guys.